Then it looks like we're going to finish Tiger Tiger from the Jungle Books. Mowgli managed to get Shere Khan trampled by some buffalo. He's skinning him, and Baldeo, the village hunter, is kind of giving him some crap about that because he wants to take the reward for himself. Mowgli's like, no, I won this guy fair and square. You weren't even going to share the award with me. Has Akela the wolf jump on him and continues to work out skinning the tiger. To do Baldeo justice, if he had been ten years younger, he would have taken his chance with Akela had he met the wolf in the woods. But a wolf who obeyed the orders of this boy, who had private wars with man-eating tigers, was not a common animal. It was sorcery, magic of the worst kind, thought Baldeo, and he wondered whether the amulet round his neck would protect him. He lay as still as still, expecting every minute to see Mowgli turn into a tiger, too. Maharaja, great king, he said at last in a husky whisper. Yes, said Mowgli, without turning his head, chuckling a little. I am an old man. I, I did not know that thou wast anything more than a herd boy. May I rise up and go away, or will thy servant tear me to pieces? Go, and peace go with thee. Only another time do not meddle with my game. Let him go, Akela. Baldeo hobbled away to the village as fast as he could, looking back over his shoulder in case Mowgli should change into something terrible. When he got to the village, he told a tale of magic and enchantment and sorcery that made the priest look very grave. Mowgli went on with his work, but it was nearly twilight before he and the wolves had drawn the great gay skin clear of the body. Now we must hide this and take the buffaloes home. Help me with this. Help me to the herd, Akela. The herd rounded up in the misty twilight, and when they got near the village, Mowgli saw lights and heard the conches and bells in the temple blowing and banging. Half the village seemed to be waiting for him by the gate. This is because I killed Shere Khan, he said to himself. But a shower of stones whistled about his ears, and the villagers shouted, Sorcerer! War sprat! Jungle demon, go away! Get hence quickly, or the priest will turn thee into a wolf again. Shoot, Baldeo, shoot! The old tower musket went off with a bang, and the young buffalo bellowed in pain. More sorcery, shouted the villagers. He can turn bullets, Baldeo. That was thy buffalo. Now what is this, said Mowgli, bewildered as the stones flew thicker. They are not unlike the... They are not unlike the pack. These brothers of thine, said Akela, sitting down composedly. It is in my head that if bullets mean anything, they would cast thee out. Wolf! Wolf's cub! Go away! shouted the priest, waving a sprig of sacred Tulsi plant. Again? Last time it was because I was a man. This time it is because I am a wolf. Let us go, Akela. A woman, who was Masua, ran across the herd and cried, Oh, my son, my son! They say thou art a sorcerer who can turn himself into a beast at will. I do not believe it, but go away or they will kill thee. Bodeo says thou art a wizard, but I know thee, thou have avenged Nathu's death. Come back, Masua, shouted the crowd. Come back or we will stone thee. Mowgli laughed, a little short, ugly laugh, for a stone had hit him in the mouth. Run back, Masua. This is one of the foolish tales they tell under the big tree at dusk. I have at least paid for thy son's life. Farewell and run quickly, for I shall send the herd in more swiftly than their brickbats. I am no wizard, Masua. Farewell. Now one more, Kella, he cried. Bring the herd in. The buffaloes were anxious enough to get to the village. They hardly needed Akela's yell, but charged through the gate like a whirlwind, scattering the crowd right and left. Keep count, shouted Mowgli scornfully. It may be that I have stolen one of them. Keep count, for I will do your herding no more. Fare you well, children of men, and thank Masua that I do not come in with my wolves and hunt you up and, and down your street. He turned on his heel and walked away with the lone wolf. And as he looked up at the stars, he felt happy. No more sleeping in traps for me, Akela. Let us get Shere Khan's skin and go away. No, we will not hunt, hurt the village, for Mesua was kind to me. When the moon rose over the plain, making it look all milky, the horrified villagers saw Mowgli with two wolves at his heels and a bundle on his head, trotting across at the steady wolf's trot that eats up the long miles like fire. Then they banged the temple bells, and blew the conches louder than ever, and Mesua cried, and Baldeo embroidered the story of his adventures in the jungle, 
till he ended by saying that Achilles stood up on his hind legs and talked like a man. The moon was just going down when Mowgli and the two wolves came to the hill of the Council Rock, and they stopped at Mother Wolf's cave. They have cast me out from the man pack, Mother, shouted Mowgli, but I come with the hide of Shere Khan to keep my word. Mother Wolf walked stiffly from the cave with the cubs behind her, and her eyes glowed as she saw the skin. I told him on that day when he crammed his head and shoulders into this cave, hunting for thy life, little frog, I told him that the hunter would be hunted. It is well done. Little brother, it, was, it is well done, said a deep voice in the thicket. We were lonely in the jungle without thee. And Bagheera, came, and Bagheera came running to Mowgli's bare feet. They clambered up the council rock together, and Mowgli spread the skin out on the flat stone where Akela used to sit, and pegged it down with four slivers of bamboo, and Akela lay down upon it, called the old call of the council. Look, look well, O oh wolves, exactly as, he, exactly as he had called when Mowgli was first brought there. Ever since Akela had been disposed, the pack had been without a leader, hunting and fighting at their own pleasure, but they answered the call from habit, and some of them were lame from the traps they had fallen into, and some limped from shot wounds, and some were mangy from eating bad food, and many were missing, but they came to the council rock, all that were left of them, and saw Shere Khan's striped hide on the rock, and the huge claws dangling at the end of the empty dangling feet. It was then that Mowgli made up a song without any rhyme a song that came up into his throat all by itself, and he shouted it aloud, leaping up and down on the rattling skin, and beating time with his heels till he had no more breath left, while Grey Brother and Akela howled between the verses. Look well, O oh wolves! Have I kept my word? said Mowgli when he had finished in the wolves braid, and the wolves bayed, Yes! and one tattered and one tattered wolf howled. Lead us again, O oh Akela, lead us again, O oh man cub, for we be sick of this lawlessness, and we would be the free people once more. Nay, purred Bagheera, that may not be. When ye are full fed, the madness may come upon ye again. Not for nothing are ye called the free people. Ye fought for freedom, and it is yours. Eat it, O wolves. Man pack and wolf pack have cast me out, said Mowgli. Now I will hunt alone in the jungle. And we will hunt with thee, said the four cubs. So Mowgli went away and hunted with the four cubs in the jungle from that day on, but he was not always alone, because years afterwards he became a man and married. But that is a story for grown-ups. <laughs>